Greetings and salutations all. In this video, we're gonna quickly go ahead and show you how to make a shiny app in both R and Python within the new Positron IDE by Posit. So to begin, uh, you need to make sure that you have the shiny extension. So we need to go over where we see these blocks, click that. Then inside of the search uh, extensions in the marketplace, we just need to type shiny and press enter. We're going to want to install the first um, uh, extension that is shiny itself um, just by pressing that install button um, note that you don't want to install this shiny deprecated uh, just make sure that you uh, install that top option um, all right so with the extension now installed we're going to go ahead and close out the extension portion um, and the tab and we're going to now go to where we see this plus new option and in the new option what we're going to do is we're going to select the r file type first we're going to jump right over into, um, in this case, um, the shiny example for R, and we're gonna just sort of use that. So here we're gonna grab the UI component. We're gonna place the UI component. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna grab here the server component. So just a little bit of a copy and paste, and place it right in. And then finally, we're going to make sure that we have this shiny app um, portion uh, so that the application will correctly launch. So once you know our UI is present, our server is present, and we have a call to create a Shiny app, we need to effectively um, save the file first. When we go ahead and we save the file, you want to make sure that you're saving the file outside of your home directory. So in this case, I'm going to save it right onto my desktop and I'll call it app.r. Again, app.r is, is an important shiny naming convention. Um, so we're gonna save it as app.r. And what's going to happen is the second we saved it as app.r, you notice that this play button in the top right corner basically switched and you now have this caret where you can see run shiny app and source our file. So if we just click on the run uh, button itself, notice that we correctly get the viewer now displaying the source of our shiny application. Um, and if we drag the center, we can sort of see um, what the Shiny app would actually look like on a web page that has significant amounts of uh, space compared to before where you're seeing here that sidebar quickly become um, underneath the graph. And again, you can sort of see you know, it changes quite nicely. Um, so that basically is a Shiny app in our running inside of Positron. Now, when you're done, um, when, what you can do is you can press this delete button over here, which effectively kills the terminal um, that's running this shiny app. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that delete button. Notice that the viewer panel now goes dark. Um, so we're going to now gently move over to creating a Python uh, version of a shiny app. So we're gonna go up to that new menu again. We're going to go to new file and we're going to select here a Python file. So inside of this Python file, we're going to jump over to the shiny for Python option. Um, we're gonna grab this uh, piece of code that's going to hopefully make this slider label, and we're going to go ahead and um, uh, save the file. So command S, and then we'll say, call this app.py. Again, place it anywhere but your home directory. So here I'm putting it on my desktop. If you have a project directory, that's equally fine. And then we're going to go ahead and press enter to save it. Now, um, when we go ahead and do that, again, notice we have this run shiny app. If we click on this down carrot, notice that we also have a lot more options compared to the R shiny app. So again, you can easily debug, you can run selected lines in console. It's, it's pretty nice and intense um, what the shiny uh, team has done for Python. So hopefully they'll, we'll, they'll move that over into R. That said, let's go ahead and press this play button to run the Python Shiny app. And lo and behold, we now have just that quick, shiny um, example demo application that we saw on the web page, where if we move a slider, we now see the slider value getting written out. Again, this is now running in a separate terminal and it's running specifically using packages that I have installed inside of this DS environment. So over here, again, you can sort of see it's Conda DS. If I click on these dotted lines, you can see all of the other different environments that I could try and, and go into. However, 
these environments currently do not have Shiny, which is the Python package, um, or Shiny Live installed. Hence, um, uh, you're going to see it automatically default here into this, you know, DS library, which uh, has both of those Python packages present. So. Uh, I hope that helped. I hope you're able now to make some shiny apps and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye now.